G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the custom estimation tool. So there are three unit types that we use, which is linear, area and cubic, which is shown on the screen now. So with the materials you can apply to any SketchUp geometry, whether it's brought in from an IFC model, uh, which can be done using the IFC tool up here, or you can just draw the geometry as shown on the screen here, it can be just generic SketchUp geometry. So first of all, with the lineal, so we'll go open the tool, it's up here, and what we'll, what we'll do first is we'll search. So we've got two example posts here, the one on the left is a timber post, and the one on the right is going to be for brick. So as you can see here we've got it grouped, so if it's for a lineal length, which is going to be for the post here, uh, it's going to use the lineal, so we select lineal, search what we want to use, which might be uh, 90 by 90, uh, let's say it's a H3 timber post, we've got it selected. Select this option here and it will apply it to the object as shown there. Next, if we're doing for a brick post or brick column, it's going to be different. So what we need to do is select all faces, so you can do that by holding shift or control on your keyboard. Orbit round, and when you select different faces and different uh, entities, they'll appear in the table up here. So what we'll do now is go to area, clear the search, uh, we'll type in brick and we'll use say this one. Hit apply to four entities and away we go, now we've got a brick. If I do a takeoff now we will see these but I'll do a takeoff at the end of the video to show how it all comes out. Next with area similar to like what we did here just select the face, you can keep this dialog open, uh, select a different material if you want, I'll use uh, we'll go with stone cladding and we'll apply it and away we go there you can apply it. So what these materials are here they're all materials that you have access to in your library so they're all the plus brick materials or your creative materials any materials that are shared with your library so anything you can find throughout the software will appear in here as well. If you want to create a new material click this button up here after selecting an item same as what you do in the dialogues and run through the process there. It's a general create material process. Right, so when you do bring in an IFC model, for example, if this was for a wall, sometimes they're going to be, or majority of the time, they're going to be make, grouped. There might be several groups, there might be groups upon groups upon groups. A good thing to do is to explode it, just to make it a whole lot easier to then use. So just right click, explode, and now we can go and apply different materials to different faces and do whatever we want to do. So again, select the face, uh, we'll find another brick here apply. Right, and keep going throughout the model and doing that. With cubic there's only one uh, important thing to remember, uh, you can't do it to faces, you've got to group the object first. So triple click until it all, um, all becomes highlighted like that, uh, right click on the object and select make group. Uh, it can be a component as well, just groups a bit easier. When you do that you'll see it up here and the size will come up here. Uh, You'll also see, if you've done this right, you'll get uh, a volume, or you get a calculator, or a value in here. So, what an example doesn't look like, if it's done wrong, is, as you'll see here, without that face, it can't determine the volume, so it won't work, so the material won't apply correctly. So just make sure you do it to a group that's got this value here. Right, next, we get a cubic, we'll type in concrete, now uh, we'll use this one here, select it, as you can see it's applied to the object here. And now if I do a takeoff of the model, you'll then see the slab and the footings in here, which is, which is 27, as you saw if I select here, 27, and all the other items are appearing at takeoff too if I expand them. So you can see it's all getting added into the takeoff there. The only other thing to to note when doing it, so there's two options here, replace geometry and duplicate geometry. So I'll quickly show you off to the side here, um, I'll grab this and I'll duplicate it twice just to show you. Right, so if we want to apply material here, let's go back to area, brick, uh, we'll, use, uh, we'll use something a bit nicer, that one there. So with the replace option, it'll remove this face, so if I click this button again, and move this face away. As you can see, that face is gone. Uh, the face behind here was gone because it wasn't part of the group anymore. But if we use the other option, which is duplicate geometry and select, 
you'll notice that the geometry is still there. Well, there's a, a hidden face here. That's the old geometry that's there. And we've got the new geometry there. So we can still retain the existing geometry. So just keep in mind which one you've got selected here. Replace geometry is the default option. So you shouldn't have an issue. But yeah, I hope that guys helps you out. Cheers.